Hello fellow pilgrims. My name is Makati, Pilgrim in Heels, and happy solar eclipse. Today is the 8th of April, and I am recording this prior to my going into the darkness um, in about seven, eight hours. I have some work to do first, and, um, and after work I go straight into the darkness and if you have watched the previous video you would have you would know that i um i felt i sensed i knew in fact that my retreat wasn't complete that that cycle wasn't complete um sorry my glasses are steaming up don't mind that <laughs> Um, but when I was there, I towards the end, it was just too much for me. And I know that I couldn't engage. I couldn't be present in the manner that I could have. And so, um, and even though when I left, I was very clear that I'm not going back into the darkness. It's just too much. But perhaps about four days later um, once i'd come out i was told that in a teacher within in no uncertain terms that i need to go back oh it was an invitation that i need to go back to complete the cycle and so i am returning and in the meantime um from the time i, I came out a lot of realizations have been arriving and this is actually um, what has invited me to come and share one of those realizations. I, um, I actually understand how I ended up in that cave at the end of my retreat. Um, and I think in some way I'm going back to fetch myself from that cave and so I've been contemplating what it is that put me back that put me in that cave and I um, I saw how for the longest time for the longest time um, I had placed a, um, a big protector a big ogre, ogre at the entrance of my heart um, in order to protect my heart to protect myself to protect the child inside of me and um, and that ogre was incredibly effective in making sure that nothing can penetrate nothing can come in um, being very protective in not allowing life in and and of course part of that is not allowing God in and <laughs> which is a funny thing to actually even think about um, because when I was in the darkness and I was asking who am I in in a meditation i kept asking who am i you know when i got the response you are nothing but before the nothing came up i i was I, I was made i was helped to recognize how much i'm looking outside for the answer i kept seeking outside of myself for the answer to the question who am i and similarly, that's exactly what I've been doing all my life, is even though I know in my head, we all know, you know, that God is within, God isn't some figure that is out there, um, but God is within. And I, I think I knew it in my head, in fact, I know that I knew it in my head that God is within. But what this, what the darkness has showed me is that um in in considering god to be within and for some reason i was able to really connect with that i couldn't i 
could not create any space inside of myself to even consider the truth that God is within. Um, it was just too much for me and I felt like gosh how can God be inside of me how can how does that 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 doesn't make sense how can how can God how can that eternal ineffable isness be inside of me um, the inadequacy of me the um the littleness of me the fallible me put up an immediate resistance um god can't possibly be in me but also another thing um was if god is inside of me if god is in me if I am a droplet of the ocean that is God, then I have to let God off the hook. <laughs> because so many wrongs had been done unto me and the only one to blame, ultimately, the only one to blame is God. I remember years ago, decades ago, coming across a book called Disappointment in God. And that was me. Until really just a couple of days ago, a few days ago. Um, huge, huge, massive disappointment. And when I was in the darkness, I, I felt that, you know, of all the forgiveness lessons that A Course in Miracles speaks, speaks about, that... For me, my forgiveness experience would be forgiving God. So if God is inside of me, who's to be forgiven? Yeah. And so the next piece that arrived was if God is inside of me, and I say I love God, then I must love myself. I must love myself. <laughs> and it's a it's a very weird experience to have it's a paradoxical experience that all my life most of my life well the invitation to be a pilgrim is about fetching all parts of myself back here back home and yet at the same time having this tension of not being able to accept myself, not being able to love myself. Um, so so I, I feel, I feel that tension. I felt that tension of self-love, loving myself. And what does that mean? And the consequence of that, being loving God. So, um, the darkness has just been elucidating so much for me. Uh, but not only that, assisting me, it has also been assisting me to come to terms with my true identity as a host. This body is a host for God. Hmm. God is here. You see, even as I say that, it just feels, it feels like a radical realization. And I know that my head is stepping in 
and is wanting to grasp um, that truth. It's not even an idea. Um, and yet for now, it feels more like an idea. God is here. There's no one to forgive. Everything has been a, um, an experience that I came here for. Mm. And so as I re-enter the darkness in a little while, I, um, well, firstly, I'm stepping in with deep surrender, but also with openness, with taming that part of me that wants to protect me so much. Taming, thanking, releasing that part of me that anticipates threat. And saying, this is what I'm seeking, this is what I want, this is what I've asked for. And it's okay to let it in. It's okay to let life in. In fact, it's it's important to let to let life in, to be in life. And perhaps at some point this constant seeking, this longing. Maybe I can put it down. Mm. Maybe I can put it down. As I welcome myself home. So I thank you. Thank you for your witnessing, for watching <laughs> these little videos documenting my journey. Um, and your comments and your questions that are all, you know, waking me up, shaking, you know, when you wake a child up when you wake somebody up and you're just like Makati. here's another piece you are not seeing thank you for doing that for me I appreciate it and <laughs> be well through this massive period in our human history. I keep reminding myself that I came here for this. I came here for this. And so, may I be here wholeheartedly. <laughs> okay. That's all I have. Be blessed always. Galerato.